the DC fanboys are insane. <laughs> yeah. How do you not know this already? Man of Steel 10, Batman vs. Superman, Ultimate Cut. I like that they put that. <laughs> Ultimate. <laughs> because I th- those are two completely different movies. At 9.5, Wonder Woman 9.5, Aquaman 9.5, Wonder Woman 84 9.5, Birds of Prey 9, Shazam 9. 9? Suicide Squad 8.9, Justice League 2. <laughs> I'm just like, okay, some of that. That's so disappointing. <laughs> Hello, everyone. We're the Continuity Crew. I'm Will. I'm Will. And today we are doing our Wonder Woman uh, full review analysis. Yep. Uh, recap and we've got it playing right over here as yeah. also we're on a new set for just poss- for this episode just no, for just kidding no. for a little bit we'll see we'll, yeah. we're figuring some stuff out doing stuff to the other one doing stuff here we'll figure it out but also i just realized is this the same mall that they use in stranger things ah uh, maybe or uh shazam it may be shazam and that'd be pretty cool yeah like it's just the same mall but where was I don't know because one I think uh, Shazam was like in Chicago or something. Okay. And this is supposed yeah. to be in DC. God, these guys suck. <laughs> these, oh, these these criminals so are awful. But anyways, um, dude's there to steal, but he's literally <laughs> committing. <laughs> he's so, literally committing. Uh, like just yeah, I'm gonna kill this little girl. Um, <laughs> but little plot plot pipa pipa pa. P's are hard. Plot summary. Um, I mean, if you've got HBO Max, you've seen it, hopefully. I would assume. I feel like this probably... I can't wait to see the numbers for, like, subscriptions. I'm assuming they went up. Because they also... Uh. Because remember, they canceled their uh, one-month free trial, like, right before this. So, I'm... How much is the monthly for HBO Max? 15. Really? Mm -hmm. And then you said they, they got to Roku. And mm-hmm. it's on a just about stuff. everything okay. now so i think it's on like it's on xfinity it's on a good track. i think they got everything out just in time for wonder woman and i don't think it mattered that they didn't have it out before this is completely off topic but just hbo max i think this is a good start if this yeah. is going to be the path we're going from here with movies doing simultaneous releases it went pretty well i think i think for people to be hooked on to this is that they would have to be releasing something every week Mm -hmm. because i I do feel like if there's like even a one month gap people are just gonna cancel it immediately they it seemed like when i was looking at releases earlier they had one to two things almost every month okay and i wouldn't be surprised if they've lined it up to where it's like three weeks after so it's like oh you're about you want to cancel or it's like five weeks yeah oh you want to cancel but next week Godzilla versus God versus Kong comes out, and I feel like if you like Warner Bros. movies, you're gonna like almost everything they put out. Yeah, in a sense, they they have a very specific feel to them. It's not gonna be all the time though. I they mean, uh, no, I, really I agree. Do think that people are just gonna get tired of this. Well, I think the they're definitely they've even said that we're gonna like assess the situation, or th- I think it was just a rumor. <sighs> Hold w- up. <laughs> We're watching this on the side. It's really distracting, but this this wink. <laughs> oh yeah, this little girl that she sees in the mall. What is this? That's so uncomfortable. Like, okay, is this supposed to be some? Do we know this person? Should we care? <laughs> I mean, I guess it was cute, but also she basically just destroyed a cop's car. Oh yeah, and like. How far did she... She had to have dropped them for pretty high up yeah. if they all just fell into it. We're essentially watching, like, a play-by-play of this movie, but... Yeah, sorry. The whole mall se- sequence was just... Weird. God. I feel like I've it seen it so a bad. thousand times, too, because that was some of the big, like, advertising they had. Oh, yeah. I feel like I'd seen that entire scene. I just didn't know the reason behind it. But also, like, this scene feels very... Sh- Snyder, look like when probably she's probably the only thing that's Snyder about it, and uh, there's some other stuff in there. I can't think of anything right uh, now, but it's it's just like <sighs> he was there. <laughs> he was already like, hey, hey, do this. But um, the subscription oh. for every month. Yeah, I think it'll. Um, I think what we uh, they've got more people locked in than they did. I think um, 
some people were probably either holding out for it to be on what they have, like Roku, Xbox, yeah. Xfinity. I mean, what, it's on Xbox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it wasn't like on PS5. It I wasn't. Think. Yeah. No. So, uh, waiting for that to get their subscription, or they were just waiting for Wonder Woman because this had been an. I feel like it was announced before the all their other movies were gonna be put on there. So, I think this. Definitely boosted their numbers. We'll see if it holds, though. Because, I mean, at this point, Disney just, like, blew them out of the water a couple yeah. weeks ago. Oh, like, yeah. yeah, we've got, like, we're 10 shows coming. Star Wars and Marvel and, and Pixar. Pixar and J- Don't worry about it. <laughs> no, Disney's grinding them out while Warner Brothers are still, like, trying to figure out how and it just, what they need to do. But I think they're at a point where they're just really trying their best now. Just to garner yeah. attention from people. Yeah, because even like I was looking at the releases, there's a um, an Aquaman animated series that I had no clue about. It's apparently it's called The King of Atlantis, and it's his like first days of ruling, and it's got Mara Volko in it, and it's I don't know if it'll still be Momoa, Amber Heard, and Defoe, but it's a. Ups- and that's what, that's what they seem to like to do, though, is like these animated series, which I will say DC's animated stuff, they're up here. Yeah, they're Marvel's down yeah. down there. Well, it depends on how – is is it going to be like a kid's show or is it going to be like a I would assume it's probably – R-rated style. I'm assuming it's probably a kid's show okay. if it's only a little three-part thing. Like they've got the Harley Quinn show that's like a rated R yeah, type that deal. That's bad. pretty that – it's pretty cool. pretty cool to see – like that would never happen with Marvel, so that's cool to see. I mean, except for the What If series, but they're not even gonna R rate that. They're yeah. just gonna do PG thirteen. Yeah, and seeing anything R rated Marvel would be the would be awesome. I guess we've got Deadpool three. Yeah, but even that's like trickling down into PG thirteen. Mm, I'm pretty sure they've already said that. No, I know they are. But yeah, it'll it'll be interesting to see that it won't be under the Disney helm. That's for sure. I hope it's not, but it, I think it already is getting there. No, uh, I think they already said it's going to be under Fox, Fox's okay. deal. Because Kevin Feige wasn't very, he wasn't very keen on the idea for the original writers. He got they fired. Oh yeah, yeah, they got the Bob's Burgers writers. Yeah, right? God, Barbara, this character sucks. But just speaking characters, we'll start with the main lady herself, Wonder Woman. Yep. She's all right. <laughs> Everyone in this She's movie. She's cringy. <laughs> this entire movie's cringy. And I feel like it may be to the fact they were kind of going for this 80s aesthetic. Yeah. And they're trying to make the 80s like, oh, yay. Like, we're listening to Depeche Mode and <laughs> we're clubbing. Break dancing. Yeah. Parachute uh, pants. Yeah. Like, they, and they were going for that and it made it more cringy. But uh, I, w- I would say it made it more cringy, but I don't think it took me away from the movie. No. It was just like, oh, okay. Uh, but no, their dialogues are so bad. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think that was more distracting than the actual cringiness. Yeah, there uh, there was a couple lines that gave me a good laugh, but also I felt like I was the only one laughing in the theater. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, well, I thought it was funny. <laughs> I was just in a good mood to finally see like a movie like that's a superhero movie in theaters. Dude, change the hairstyle for Wonder Woman. Like she's like that throughout the entire movie. Yeah, the like, <laughs> the whoosh, yeah. Well, I think it's supposed to be like somewhat of a callback for, like Linda it. Carter. I get it, but like, I mean, she even kind of looks like it on his pop. <laughs> no, there's like a bunch of scenes in this movie where the entire movie just pauses and they just like deliver lines and dialogues. Oh, yeah. Like when he's trying on the, uh, Chris Pine's character is trying on all the outfits. <sighs> <laughs> scene, Parachute man. pants. Does everyone parachute now? <laughs> Why do I have so many pockets? Yeah. I like how he stuck with the fanny pack, though. <laughs> like, he was going to wear his fanny pack. Yeah, that was pretty good. I <laughs> like that. I think that's the I think that's the only funny thing about this movie is just that, that little nuances about the 80s where it's like, mm-hmm. you know, <laughs> oh, fanny packs, and then they ran out of style, and then they came back. And then this, like... the whole, Okay, so I saw, I saw a review for this movie. Someone said, like, yeah, the premise of this entire movie is that the villain is a rock. <laughs> Essentially. Yeah. Bad guy's a rock. Yeah. Oh, man. This is a film. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you said last time, too. I know. Well, that's how movie? I feel about 
so I can I even Monster compared Hunter. them to Monster this to Monster Hunter. The first hour is just monotonous, stupid pandering while we and then maybe that next well, and this is almost an hour longer than Monster Hunter. It's two hour and thirty minutes. Yeah, well yeah. Mo- uh, Monster Hunter was like an hour forty. Forty. So but that first hour we're just pandering and then eventually we kick in and like um Max Lord like understands like his powers, what he can do with them. Um, Minerva, she's able to be a badass, yeah. but and Gal's like figuring out the stiff stuff. So, but it's just it's just pandering up until that point. I'm like, well, you could have made this an hour forty, and I probably would have enjoyed it just as much because. Oh man, <laughs> they could have cut a bunch of lines out. Honestly. They could have cut entire scenes. Yeah, I mean, look. And I, when now you mention Monster Hunter, you look at you watch this movie. It looks like a Sony movie and not a, a bit. DC movie. A little bit. And even you had said this probably in one of our previous episodes, probably maybe one of our reacts to it, that Patty Jenkins can't direct like action. <laughs> I like could really tell on this. It's so bad. <laughs> yeah, no, there was the slow motion. Like she can't mimic uh, Snyder. Like, oh, she did man, the yeah, whole like was... slow motion action shots, Mm-mm, and yeah. some of them were just like I had the one scene with um, the truck, like in Egypt. Yeah, that was pretty cool. I I was a big fan of that. I wish I wish there was more of that. I mean, some of those scenes were all right. Um, sometimes they were just like hit or miss like the, you definitely oh like, i'd agree like th- and one scene that was hit or miss was like the final battle with cheetah like that shouldn't be hit or miss that should be bam like yeah. it's, this is cool um that's a highlight sort of the whole, whole movie mm-hmm. all the characters are kind of blah highlighted uh, characters i would say is definitely max lord pedro pascal yeah. does a good job like he's just eccentric apparently he based this uh performance off of like nicholas cage. cage and we were like yeah i can see yeah, it i can see it <laughs> so yeah okay Thank this you. scene man this was so this was okay so yeah useless. so we're talking we've got the scene the movie playing like we said the scene where they're eating uh like lunch at or even before this where they're like trying to arrange it or whatever yeah. like maybe we can get dinner maybe we can get lunch i'm like are are you getting is this like gonna be a relationship relationship? Yeah, I'm no. confused. Like oh, okay, cool. Like there's that, no motive to it. That'd be give it more like tension, but I just oh man. And it's just like they just like, oh nobody likes me. Oh everybody likes me. Yeah, nobody no. likes me. Oh, but I don't like anyone. <laughs> <laughs> I don't go out that much. I don't go out at all. I'm still in love with a guy that died like a few years ago. <laughs> oh yeah, and then oh, let me, he, he's back. Oh wow, oh, oh, just this no, uh, this scene and the scene that try to set that up. They they were so useless. I mean, yeah, there's just so much better ways to set this up than yeah. what they're doing right here. <laughs> and they're trying to set up a chemistry between these two characters that doesn't exist at all. It just could have happened a completely different way. See, it would have been cool if actually, like, if Wonder Woman was, was an actual lesbian, right? Like, that, that would have been cool. Well, but yeah. That's went, what they're trying to set up here. That's it what it's, like. so, it's That's what it feels like. I'm like, okay, is that what they're going for? Yeah. But then I'm just like, but they don't seem into each other, like, at no, all. They, don't. They, they just seem to be saying these lines that could be taken that way. Yeah. I'm just like, okay, that'd be interesting. But, and then it just doesn't happen. And, I think it's just supposed to show uh, Barbara's um, just lust for being like her. Uh, yeah, Diana, but it but it makes it feel it's it's just portrayed wrong and weird. And it's the execution for this is so weak. Yes, because like entire, she's literally only met her like once. The entire execution. You know what this cool. reminds me of? What? Spider Amazing Spider Man Two. It kind of does. Electro. <laughs> yeah, it kind of does. <laughs> This I want to be like him. <laughs> oh yeah, it does. <laughs> I feel like this. They even have the electrical stuff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I feel like there's a lot of superhero movies you can like. Oh yeah, I saw a couple. I can't remember them right now, but it's like, oh yeah, this is like how this movie plays out. I've definitely got maybe a little. Uh, what is it? Captain America vibes at a couple points, and I think that's just because it's Wonder Woman, and they kind of have similar. Yeah. Like it, since we saw her in the World War One in the last one, I think that's why. And even Thor, 
just be- oh, yeah. because they're Weak. both gods and supposed to be. Well, I guess she's not necessarily. This is th- this dude. Okay, so this is we're talking about the scene now. I guess spoiler. This is a spoiler cast, but the guy that mugs Barbara twice, <laughs> he just doesn't learn. No. And he must just be do. I know there's people out there like this, but he just does not learn. Like, oh, I should probably stop being shitty to women. But <laughs> he just. This was the eighties. Well, come on now. Oh, man. <laughs> I mean, it's still like that, but uh, whatever. I guess there's always gonna be filth men. But uh, one thing I would know I want to kind of talk about is um, Max Lord's powers and how. He can give them what they want, but he can take whatever he wants back. And that's just kind of the stone, too, yeah. like can do that. I thought that was a super, super intelligent way to make Wonder Woman weak. Yeah. Like, because she doesn't have a kryptonite. She could, she's not as strong as Superman, per se, but. She doesn't have a weakness. Hold on, I'm getting a phone call. This is a great movie. I don't remember, when this. I don't remember this part. She makes her wish. But oh, okay. I. I think that's so stupid. Then there's some like flaws, like uh, talking about like the s- the stone or whatever. Yeah, it's like there's some like loopholes, like cheetah. Like there's no. She I doesn't g- have a consequence. I guess it. She looks like a cat now, but. <laughs> oh, cause she well, she wished to be an ace predator. Or I think like yeah, but it's also. Uh, he didn't take anything. He didn't, doesn't even like say he wants to take anything in return. Mm-hmm. I think that's just kind of the th- stone playing on itself of like, oh, we're oh, it's got like a mind of its own. Like, yeah, it's like, oh, we're gonna make it look like a cat, like a genie type deal. And literally, I thought it was stupid. Uh, they just make her look prettier by adding like a, just a little bit of makeup, and doing the same thing with the hair. <laughs> and and <laughs> yes, I was just like, oh, that's stupid. And she can walk in heels now. Ooh, yeah. It's whatever. <laughs> no, the uh, I, I, let's talk about like a few things that we like about this movie, okay. right? Because like I, 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 there's so many negative things about this movie that I, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna forget at the end Fair. about the whole like positive things. I, yeah, like, so some like. positive things. I think um, Max Lord character's yeah. pretty cool. I like his motive. I like what he he's going for. What they did with the character and how it's resolved. Um, I like the, I said, I texted when, after I went and saw this, like the flying scene, like made me actually emotional. I was like, wow, this is awesome. This is like what I, why I watch comic book movies. And I don't feel like it's just been so long to have, like, I feel like almost all Marvel, DC, whatever, have like a moment. Like, yeah. it's like, yeah, this is awesome. Like, ah, oh. they all do like, uh, like in black Panther, it's got its moment. Um, with how bad it was, the scene with the the sunset was really yeah great. So that or that was a comic book mo- moment. Right or there. I feel like Wonder Woman or uh, Wonder Woman, yeah. Iron Man, um, hi- even him just flying around like or Superman's first flight. I feel like maybe <laughs> Zack Snyder had a little influence because that's even like I feel like that's always been a big deal in these kind of movies, like their first outing as like a new power super- kind of yeah. deal. Wait, like hold on. That reminds me. In Superman, Man of Steel, when he put on the suit, was that when the first time he flew? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he had jumped and, like, gone places. Yeah, like Wonder Woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it, similar, but he I don't think he ever actually, like, went supersonic and all that. Okay. Oh, man, that seems great just thinking about it. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Like I, I like the way Superman flies around. But at the same time, you know, he's just way too OP. Just a little. Yeah. No, the positive thing I like about this movie is that there's some things in there that are true somewhat to the character and would make sense to the character. But at the same time, uh, everything is kind of cheaply done. <laughs> yeah, this this entire movie is just kind of uh, a shortcut. <laughs> it's yeah. like the beginning. They yeah. talk, she, uh, Diana takes a shortcut. I feel like a lot of these these scenes have short shortcuts cuts in them the dialogues like there's just weird cuts actually even that are just oh we're here we're here now we're here yeah oh. like so oh this, this is a film 
No, we're sticking with positives. Oh, uh, I mean, another positive thing is Invisible Jet. And, uh, uh, yes. Like, talking about that's, comic book moments. That's yes. And that's... A, I, I feel like it isn't... Maybe it's nostalgia for... I think it's just that... That's really it, it for me. It's the characters. It's not necessarily even the comic book. It's like... It's the character moments. Like, we're seeing Wonder Woman fly for the first time. We're seeing the Invisible Jet. Yeah. Like, this is awesome. Like, we're getting all these things. And it's making you feel like, oh, man, we're ge- we're seeing this live live action. Like, it's awesome. Yeah. But it's it doesn't make the movie... Mm better no it's just because i got emotional because i like wonder one's flying like this is awesome doesn't mean like it made the movie more critically good for yeah. me and i think that's what every dc fanboy is gonna stick to yeah the dc fanboys are just gonna stick to that kind of like emotional attachment to that scene alone or mm-hmm. they're like wow this is so amazing i think watching this at home also just made people enjoy it more like we had kind of mentioned that um because i i saw it in theaters um it snowed where we were at so wind couldn't make it to Mm-mm. the theater that roads it was were unexpectedly like three or four inches yeah of snow. so but uh we i I went and saw it in theaters and i was like mm, maybe i should have just watched this at home but also <laughs> like i i just i would think th- i was thinking that during the movie but i was also like eh, i don't really care like i'd want to have i would have not wanted to see that scene where she's flying not on like on my phone on my TV. Yeah. I'd lo- I want to see that in a big screen, like loudspeakers, like the music in this. That's a positive. Oh, yeah. Hans Zimmer did it, and I feel like he took the uh, um the like bump 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 yeah. bump and like brought it to a whole nother level and did like audio cues with it. He did a better th- job than the previous sound guy who mm-hmm. did like Batman v Superman with the excessive. Violin well, there's a. Uh, I think there's a couple little song uh, music from Batman v, v Superman yeah, from is. the yeah. Well, the Hans Zimmer just you know, he, took he it to took a different the, depth. Yeah, he took it to the next level and actually gave like some of these scenes story and weight. And, yeah, you know, there's it's and so much smoother. That's probably one of the biggest like pro like I will give this because it's yeah. this the music in this. It's not like it's groundbreaking music or anything it just kind of carries the story more than the scenes them s- in. yeah more than the scenes themselves do so yeah i think th- th- another positive is pedro pascal and that's about it <laughs> yep the sound pedro pascal and some of the comic book moments yes. and the comic book moments only serve as like a nostalgic thing to yes the uh, they're fans. like the yeah and that's really about it uh, other than th- overall this the movie is just so it just happens everything in this movie just happens and that happens i wish there was a word for that i I guess it's just pandering like i said and just meandering yeah (laughs) it just kind of goes and there it doesn't go any it it goes places Mm -hmm. but it doesn't go anywhere with purpose like they were just kind of it didn't have an intention we're just kind of like sauntering through the park we're just taking a walk and um, (laughs) hey Oh, we found a bridge. We're going to cross this bridge now. See what happens. Oh, look, a rock. Let's turn over this rock. Like, that's how this movie feels. Like, yeah. it's, you're just going through a walk through a park. And you actually on... have a rock. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's the... <laughs> and then, like, uh, just one thing. That she sees the writing of, like, the gods or whatever. And yeah. she's like, oh. I'm just yeah, like, I know. I'm like, okay. Uh, I mean, what was the point? Uh, th- why? Fair, I guess. I don't know. Like, it's a I... dumb reaction. Yeah, it's like, oh my, it could have been, oh, oh, this is, I I guess. I, I can see it and also can't, but. I feel like she could have lingered with that with that uh, bracelet-looking thing more, where she could have just been like, this looks something familiar, mm-hmm. and not just like, oh, shit, that's <laughs> fire. <laughs> that's that's the god, oh, writing of the gods. Uh, I did like how they explained also the. Um, the stone with that one uh, character, like the Mayans and all that. I thought yeah. that was really cool. Oh, God, that character. I, I didn't like that the character yeah, per se. Yeah. I liked how they explained it. Yeah, yeah, I get that. That scene was just also like. It's, oh, now we're here. <laughs> it's so convenient. Yes, exactly what this is. It's like, oh, look, again, we're on our nature walk. 
Oh, we're in a uh, record store now. <laughs> we went from Egypt, and now we're here. Even Barbara, Kristen Wiig's character was like, that was fast. Yeah. I understand they were in a jet, and they, but like, that was fast. That was very fast. Yes, that was fast. There was no plot to talking about this place or anything. We're just here now. So, Also, that movie, uh, the, not the movie, but the jet has some confusing physical properties like it's it, quiet yeah and then it's it, but not. it definitely interacts with like anything physical around yes. it but i think they were shooting at one point and then i think the bullet just goes through or something like I it doesn't it. hit them whatsoever or like the uh the fireworks like yeah. i i think it's supposed to be almost a force field too because that's what she said like uh themiscara was like hidden f- by the same thing and i would assume i don't think it was a force field i think it's just to make them invisible i know but i think because how does steve trevor end up on he crashes in his plane isn't it like a bumpy ride though he doesn't just go like straight no he goes straight through it okay yeah he just like like the one in uh, i i need to rewatch the first one i need to rewatch the first one then yeah it's basically like that same I need technology. to just re. I'm gonna do a DC run through. It's been a while since I've watched Batman vs Superman, so I'm excited. <laughs> One day, I'm not, I'm not doing this now, but I want to write. Literally, I'll write like a good five to ten page paper of why Batman vs Superman's a great movie. And if you have, if it takes you five to ten pages, that means you've done something wrong. No, 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 because no. it'll literally take me one sentence. To be able to say that this, well, movie, this movie sucked. Well, that's all you got to say is that's your opinion, bro. But let me just like go over the cinematography, the sound it editing. Sucked. It sucked. No, no, no. It don't, all sucked. Don't talk. <laughs> Coming back to Wonder Woman uh, 1984, <laughs> though, I think it was a good idea for you to watch in the movie theaters. I Yeah, I don't think, but I think I'm glad that people got to watch it at home yeah because i think this will give dc more traction for sure admittedly i think uh, if if it was if we didn't have to do this video and i just regularly watch this movie just like what it is i definitely would have been so distracted and just like did something else oh yeah yeah that and that's what i, I mean like you like i could not have just sat and watched this at home mm-hmm. like i wouldn't have had that emotional like moment when she flies i it's I have to see these movies in theaters, even if there's some like on HBO's releases. I'm just like, oh, I'll watch it, uh, yeah. I'll, like Tom and Jerry. I I'll, I'll probably still see it in theaters to I'll be it, to it, be yeah. honest. But like, if it's convenient and I can't get to the theater or something, or like COVID gets worse or something, God forbid, like I'll just watch it at home and I'll yeah. be okay. Like I, but like Godzilla versus Kong, I want to see that in IMAX. <laughs> Uh, but that's the thing that would be cool we don't have any like big theaters besides like cinemark like the one in oak ridge well no like we don't have one that has like a imax type theater like um cinemarks have dolby atmos but there's that one in oak ridge is the like big the like only cinemark in a good distance away and dolby atmos is only sound it doesn't actually give you the full imax treatment or they have like a treatment. thing called like XD, which is kind of, but our, again, our theater doesn't have that. So uh, we'll see. We'll Kong s- versus Godzilla. Uh, uh, it would be a great spectacle, <laughs> but I, just I don't think Go- it's going to be that good. In I have uh, this DC movies and Godzilla just have special places in my heart. No, I, I just, get it. Yeah. Like Godzilla King of Monsters. Awful. So bad. <laughs> But I still loved it. Godzilla, Kings of Monsters. That's the one with the monsters, right? <laughs> no, no, yes. like with a bunch of yes, yeah. Mothra, yeah. King uh, Ghidorah. Because well, like Rodan. the first one, Moth, not Mothra, but the other, the other. They had the uh, what are they called? They're stupid, and I hated that one. I hate this scene so much. Oh, he's <laughs> get off me! Where's the stone? Come back to me. Can I have the stone? <laughs> <laughs> no, go back. Going back to. Kong and uh, Godzilla. I thought it was pretty cool, the the whole monsters thing. Oh yeah, I think I'm excited to see where that one goes. It looks like they showed like two seconds of footage, and it looks like oh, did they? Yeah, it was for some trailer for or like Warner Bros was advertising. It looked like 
Kong had some kind of like thing around his neck, so he may be captured, being controlled or something, which would be pretty cool. I'm assuming we're getting a uh, a uh, well, it would be very Warner Bros. It'd be a Batman versus Superman type deal where they're gonna be fighting. Kong's gonna say. Gong's gonna say Martha, and then they're gonna go fight <laughs> Doomsday or something. I don't know what, what I actually think is gonna happen. Like they are gonna be fighting, and then um, King Ghidorah, the the like robot version, because they kind of tease that at the end of the last one. So that's a completely different movie. We'll probably do, we'll do a podcast on that. Po- I'm assuming we'll actually get a trailer for that soon. So s- make sure you're subscribed for the reaction for that. Uh, God, what else? We're supposed to get a... St- maybe we're not getting a Spider-Man look. It's just, it doesn't look like it. Or maybe at the very end. Like that, yeah, end. that would be a good end of the year. Yeah. But anyway, some final thoughts on Wonder Woman. Yeah, everything was terrible. It, yes, it was pandering. There's some good scenes. But all the good scenes were automatically ruined by the next scenes. Yeah. They weren't ruined, I will say. Like again, that scene where she learns to fly will probably be one of my favorite DC moments for a good bit. No, the scene after the last, uh, the scene after the last is probably m- a lot, a lot worse than the previous scene. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, like um, I don't know. Like the one I will say, like that got ruined. She's whipping on the lightning. And then she goes and gets the gold armor, but the timing for that feels so so, off. so weird. Oh, I don't think I said this in this. We kind of recorded something. There's the when everyone's renouncing their wish. There's this black guy, and he's got glasses, and he looks like um, Silas Stone, Cyborg's dad. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like, is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it does look like him. It, it does. Yeah. I I don't know if anyone else that. noticed that. That'd be pretty cool though. If that, it's just a little nod just to connect everything. So that's. We'll see. I don't know. Who knows? It might actually. They might actually make that a part of the thing. Yeah, just like I like them to maybe throw in like some throwaway lines and even Snyder cut if he can pull it off. Like, oh, do you remember like in '84? Like what happened? Uh, like oh the. Uh, like in Marvel, they say like this is of Covia. Like yeah. What, like oh, do you remember what happened in '84, Diana? Oh, like that's what they do, in, um, I think that's what they did in the Netflix shows too. With like the yes, the yes, essentially York. like that. Yeah. A little more, like less maybe Marvel Zakovia, more like oh, the Avengers situation and. <laughs> this is- she got so distracted so quickly. <laughs> oh, this cut like she's oh. Oh, uh, Steve. I, I need to look for the stone. S- Steve's oh, back. Steve. <laughs> Steve's back. Okay, let's go walking. It is. Bye it bye. is. It is like Captain America in a way. A little like bit. Captain America with Bucky. He's like, oh, Bucky. it is. All the <laughs> Bucky. Oh, you're back. Oh, who? Isn't that in Washington D.C.? Yeah. 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 It's. Uh, this is just what the first one was. First Avenger. This is just. No, this shot literally is like. It, it is like. Yeah. Uh, Winter Soldier. Oh yeah, it is in D.C. On your left. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, but yeah, overall, this movie, not good. Good, No. Sorry, DC fans. I usually, you know. I, and I am one. Yeah, and <laughs> I've been very forgiving with, like, DC stuff, but at this point, they're just holding on to something that isn't there. Uh, well, I don't know. I think, I'm hoping, it's not, what, I think it's Snyder Cut, then, like, Batman may be the next DC thing, like, big thing. Yeah. So I don't know. I'm. I think the turning point for this is go- possibly going to be Snyder Cut, but I don't have much hopes for that being the turning point. I think the Flash movie is. Okay. But I feel like that's putting a lot into the Flash movie. Yeah. But it's the director who did it, which I kind of he's the first. It's really good, and so I I have hopes for it. But uh, overall, let's give this a rating out of ten. I want let you a one. A one, really? Really? I'm sorry, but this was just way too annoying. Or so you okay? The what are what are like Suicide Squad and Justice League at? Uh, Suicide Squad, uh, they're about at one. At oh, one? Okay. Yeah. Well, I Justice League, I, I don't think I ever gave a rating to. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah, <laughs> it just doesn't deserve it. Um, well, um, I give it a six, and uh, that's higher than a lot of people at the moment. I thought it was fine. Like, it was just a movie, but I think it was just not that great. But I, I um, 
just to, before we wrap things up, what do you give the first Wonder Woman? I need to rewatch it, like I said, but from what I remember, I'll give my rating. First Wonder Woman. Man, I forgot. Oh, my. I, well, I'm oh, gi- the first Wonder Woman. One. <laughs> a one as well? Well, I'm following that trend of giving the same rating. I'm giving it also a six. I just yeah. feel like these are very... They both have their flaws, but they're just still decent enough movies. Enough. They're not decent movies. They're decent enough. Yeah. But... It's just... It, it, it's weird that there's two totally different movies... And the character doesn't seem like she has a character whatsoever. Not at all. She's so dry and flat. And it's like, she's like a pancake without like the <laughs> syrup on it. You know? I guess. <laughs> it's, just, it's just dry. It's just there. You you got to add something to it just to make it, just give it a little flavor. But no, she's just a pancake. <laughs> just a pancake. Okay. I don't know why I said pancake. But okay. whatever. Or like a tortilla without the meat. Okay. That's a good one. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, I guess. But anyways, that's our Wonder Woman review. Um, mostly disappointing. Mostly, because I, b- I also did really expect a lot for the, not a, a lot, but I yeah, I th- I good. expected a good bit too. I mean, I thought like, oh, if this is gonna be the first thing they're doing this simultaneous release, it's got to be somewhat of a uh, event. Uh, yeah, but it it just wasn't. No, I don't think they were planning it to be an event either, but. The and then they throw the Christmas scene at the end. Yay! It's Christmas, guys. It, look, it really did look like it was a very Hollywood set. It looked like they were just Christmas. shot at the Warner Bros. Yeah, it's like, okay, everyone. We, It's like, the here is the like call out for like actors to be in that. We need you to quarantine two weeks and do a Christmas scene. And this was like in March. They probably I should. They, I think they also did a... a <laughs> and the social distancing in some of the scenes. Probably. Because the kids were six feet apart. The handsome I'm guy and Wonder Woman were six feet apart looking like. And yeah. then the other people, the stores were like six feet apart. So I believe it. That would make sense. But, uh, yeah, Wonder Woman was disappointing. Oh, well. A huge waste of time. But anyways, thank you all for watching. We've been the Continuity Crew. Yeah. We'll see you all in the next video, whatever that may be. Thank y'all for watching. We love movies. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Mm -hmm. We love movies. We love y'all. Peace. Deuces. Oh, also, go watch our uh, remote. Yeah, go watch our remote video. Our first remote. It's very fun. We'll do it again.